Is it time to buy or sell NEO stock? In this video, we're diving deep into NEO. Our initial report was published on our website on Tuesday, June 13, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and get a free price predictions and deep analysis for anyone among 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since June 12, 2023, our system has ranked NEO as a buy candidate, giving it a score of 4.72. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. The stock has seen a gain of 5.83%. This translates to an average return of 2.92% per day since it was listed as buy candidate. The stock lies the upper part of a very wide and falling trend in the short term, and this may normally pose a very good selling opportunity for the short-term trader as reaction back towards the lower part of the trend can be expected. A breakup at the top trend line at $9.22 will firstly indicate a slower falling rate, but may be the first sign of a trend shift. The current three-month trend suggests a potential minus 15.03% change over the next three months, with a possible return between minus 31.65% and minus 11.91%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a minus 59.15% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between minus 80.47% and minus 51.60%. This translates to a price range of $1.74 to $4.30 after a year. Our latest daily update for NEO includes the headline, Strong Day for NEO Stock Price on Tuesday Rising 5.83% to $8.89. The NEO Stock Price gained 5.83% on the last trading day, Tuesday, June 13, 2023, rising from $8.40 to $8.89. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 5.47% from a day low at $8.60 to a day high of $9.07. The price has risen in 8 of the last 10 days and is up by 19.97% over the past 2 weeks. Volume fell on the last day by minus 19 million shares and in total, 81 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $716.70 million. You should take into consideration that falling volume on higher prices causes divergence and may be an early warning about possible changes over the next couple of days. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of stock was $24.43, and the lowest price was $7. Currently, the price is 63.61%, or $15.54, below the 52-week high, and 86.73%, or $58.10 below the all-time high on January 11, 2021, when the price reached $66.99. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets On Thursday, November 17, 2022, UBS set a price target of 13. On Thursday, November 17, 2022, UBS set a price target of 13. On Thursday, November 17, 2022, UBS set a price target of 13. On Thursday, June 30, 2022, HSBC set a price target of 28. On Thursday, June 30, 2022, HSBC set a price target of 28. Analysts have given NEO stock a general buy rating. They rate the P.E. ratio as strong buy and price to book as strong buy. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock a neutral rating. The following signals have been identified for NEO. The NEO stock holds by signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a positive forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general buy signal from the relation between the two signals where the short-term average is above the long-term average. On corrections down, there will be some support from the lines at $8.02 and $7.96. A breakdown below any of these levels will issue sell signals. 
A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Tuesday, May 30, 2023, and so far it has risen 19.97%. Further rise is indicated until a new top pivot has been found. Volume fell during the last trading day despite gaining prices. This causes a divergence between volume and price and it may be an early warning. The stock should be watched closely. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. Furthermore, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence sell signal. Pivots by signal 11 days ago. Bollinger by signal one day ago. Short-term moving average by signal eight days ago. Long-term moving average by signal three days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages by signal two days ago. If we look at the 12 month chart, we see short moving average by signal three days ago. The long term moving average sell signal 184 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages by signal 179 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for NEO NEO finds support from accumulated volume at $8.79 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This stock has average movements during the day and with good trading volume, the risk is considered to be medium. During the last day, the stock moved $0.470 between high and low, or 5.47%. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 6.96%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for NEO, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the price to earnings ratio, or PE ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per share earnings. A negative PE ratio means the company has negative earnings or is losing money. Even established companies experience down periods, often due to factors beyond their control. However, consistently negative P-E ratios may signal insufficient profit and possible bankruptcy risks. In other news, the next earnings report for Q2 2023 is expected on SEP 05, 2023. Analysts' consensus estimates are at $0.430. Keep an eye on these numbers, as they can greatly impact stock prices. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for NEO. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for NEO is at $9.01. If you don't own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, NEO encounters its first support level at $8.79. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. Our recommended stop loss is set at $8.58, minus 3.46%. This stock has medium daily movements and this gives medium risk. There is a buy signal from a pivot bottom found 10 days ago. Is NEO stock a good buy? Several short-term signals are positive, despite the stock being in a falling trend, we conclude that the current level may hold a buying opportunity as there is a fair chance for stock to perform well in the short term. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is overvalued. For trading on Wednesday, June 14th, we expect NEO to open down $0.0367 and start trading at $8.85. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. 
We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.